Hello everyone, and welcome to my Vanderpump official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. While Scandival could seem like old news, it'll be up front when the new time of Vanderpump Rules begins this month. Normally, a large part of the show will rotate around the aftermath of Tom Sandoval, undermining long-lasting sweetheart Ariana Maddox. However, Tom, other Tom Schwartz probably concluded that Sandoval can't have a good time being VPR's occupant busybody. In the trailer for season 11, other Tom dropped a bomb to Lala Kent by saying that he kissed castmate Sheena Shea. I cheated? I was a makeout skank. I made out with Sheena, as in Vegas. Nobody even knows that, other Tom uncovered. While this most certainly appears to be an excellent storyline for much more show, Siphon Rules alum Kristen Doubt doesn't believe it's all that significant. On an episode of her digital broadcast, Love and What Else Matters, Kristen made an appearance. I think he expressed it as an all-out joke. I think he expressed it for shock esteem. And afterward went, gracious, I'm simply joking. Obviously not, Kristen pondered. Since the expression all over when he said it, he's simply not an incredible liar with regards to things that aren't significant, she added. The previous cast part proceeded. As far as I might be concerned, it appears as though he is somewhat concealing this grin. He and Lala were presumably having some discussion that was excessively profound for Schwartz. Schwartz blows a gasket when things are excessively profound and he's not prepared for that sort of discussion, and he goes for the entertainment. How is betraying your life partner entertainment, I ask you? Don't bother. We are managing Schwartz here, and he is a few bricks short of a load. Kristen then, at that point, closed on hypothesis by saying, so I think they were presumably discussing he and Katie Malumi, perhaps he and Joe Wenberg, or he and Rachel Levis, or something to that effect. He got awkward and afterward regurgitated that out to get a response, redirect the conversation, and afterward went, gracious, I'm simply joking. I'm simply joking. That is my thought process. Be that as it may, I can't really understand. All right, so to recap, this is basically Kristen think about what occurred and not being in the loop. Which is fitting. As far as it matters for her, Sheena has previously prodded that there is more going on than what the trailer shows. Answering a fan on Instagram, Sheena stated, things that should go to the grave. However, it's not the very thing you think. Remain tuned. Sheena Shea drilled down into why she censured Alexis Bellino at BravoCon during a new episode of her digital recording. Months after the fan show in Las Vegas, the Vanderpump Rules star, 38, uncovered what the genuine Housewives of Orange Province alum, 46, did in front of an audience that set her off while sharing that Andy Cohen, 55, likewise moved to poured her about the shade she tossed. On a December episode of Sheenanigans with Sheena Shea by means of Wadey, Sheena uncovered that it was a joke Alexis made about her companion, Gretchen Rossi's accomplice Slate Smiley, 50, and the way that he's dated past cast individuals from RHOC, including Joe De La Rosa, 43, and Lori Peterson, 63, that she considered to be in unfortunate taste. All of the unexpected Alexis denounces any and all authority. Sheenam reviewed of a discourse Alexis made as she introduced the Wifetime Accomplishment Grant to Vicki Gunvalson, 61. At first I giggle. She's like... Well, as the main lady up here who hasn't laid down with Slade Smiley. And I, similar to, sort of giggle. Because I was like, goodness. Gretchen was alright with this in the content. Like we realized our content going into it. And I glanced back at the elevated screen and I was like, it's not in the content. As well as feeling outraged by the shade Alexis tossed. Sheena said she wasn't the one in particular who could have done without Alex's affirmed freestyling of the discourse. Andy Cohen needed to come up and he was like, this isn't essential for the show, Stina shared. As per Sheena, she in the long run had words with Alexis at an all-nighter. 
Alexis comes up and acquaints herself with me. I was like, you, I can't stay quiet, you made my companion so awkward. I was like, goodness, you're the young lady who offered something truly discourteous about my companion's significant other. Correct? Good to meet you. And she was very much like the. And I was like, definitely not cool. And I just, as left, Sheena affirmed. Following the disagreement, Sheena got together with Gretchen, 45, who was thankful that she had her covered. I headed toward Gretchen. Also, she was like, I love you, much thanks to you. And I'm like, Sheena that is simply of. ill-bred. It was entertaining in the event that Gretchen was savvy to what's going on. What's more, that was important for the content and she consented to it. In any case, to simply go up there and denounce any and all authority and say that, I simply thought it was so ill-bred and discourteous. In spite of the fact that Alexis appeared to disagree with Slade's dating past, she's as of now dating Shannon Beater's ex, John Jansen. Get a first gander at all the show rolling down inside Lisa Vanderpump's fantasy French home in the new secret for Hulu's impending unscripted TV drama Vanderpump Manor. The new mystery sneak peeks lots of intemperance among the group of world-class gourmet specialists, waiters, mixologists, and organizers working at the restaurateur's captivating French home house Rosabelle. I have by and by chosen every one of you from the absolute best cafes, bars, and kitchens. Lisa reports to her staff in the class. I realize you know how to serve, yet this is France, so how about we talk assumptions? In any case, when mixologist Andrew Mitchell looks noticeably anxious by the SUR proprietor's stupendous principles, Lisa suggests, For what reason do you look so frightened? In the middle between facilitating lavish stays and extravagant journeys for world-class visitors in the French open country, the secret clarifies that the House Rosabelle team will play similarly as hard as they work. Nonetheless, Lisa cautions them, You can do what you need in the background. Yet when you're around the visitors, don't get messy. Basically, Lisa adds, this isn't house, show. The secret then, at that point, blazes to wild gatherings, late night pool plunges, hot hookups, and dangerous battles among the gathering. In the midst of the show, Lisa will assess every worker's expertise level to eventually decide if to keep them or boot them out back to the States. Look at the principal look above for a sample of the tomfoolery, and to get an inside take a gander at Lisa's fantasy French domain. Furthermore, to meet every one of the 12 of Vanderpump's new staff members. Thanks for watching if you like this video. So please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.